our mouth and just say thank you lord we thank you god before we ask you of anything god we just want to open up our mouths and thank you god we want to thank you god for being our healer god we want to thank you for god for being our deliverer god we want to thank you for being our way maker god we want to thank you for being our keeper hallelujah god we thank you for keeping us god we thank you for keeping our minds god we thank Thank you for keeping our hearts. God, we thank you. God, you are the only one who is able, God, who is able, Lord, to bring us out, Lord. God, you are the only one who is able, Lord, to save us, Lord. God, you are the only one. So we lift you high in this place today. God, we lift you high in this place today, and we open our mouths, oh God. This moment is not about us, Lord. This moment is not about what we've been through this past week God but it's about you God because you deserve all the glory God because you deserve all the honor God because you deserve all the praise God in you Lord we have our being in you God we move and we breathe oh God so we magnify you today God we bless you in this place we magnify you today God we bless you in this place there's nobody like you come on open up your mouth and make Make love to the Lord. God, you worthy. God, you worthy. God, you worthy. God, you worthy. You worthy. You worthy. You worthy. Come on, let's get on one accord in this place so that God can move. God, we make room for you. God, we make room for you. Everything must get out of your way. God, our pride must get out of your way. Our feelings must get out of your way. God, nothing then we'll stop God what you're about to do in this place God we open ourselves God we open ourselves God we release God we release everything that we've been through this week God we release everything that's on our minds right now God God we release everything that takes away from who you are you're holy you're sacred God you're mighty you're magnificent God we magnify you come on bless the Lord in this place bless him bless him bless him he deserves the glory bless him he deserves the honor bless him bless him bless him and Lord we ask you God to have your way in this church God from every singer oh God you be with our mouths God to every musician God you be with their hands God to every speaker God you be with their mouths God we are your vessels have your way and God we come against every distraction God God every attack of the enemy God every that try to exalt itself against who you are God we cast it down in this place oh God God for you deserves the glory God for you deserve the honor God for you deserve the praise God and we lift you high God we give you room to manifest in this place God we give you room to reign in this place God we give you room to have your way God we surrender God it's not by us God but it's by your spirit God it's it has nothing to do with us, oh God, but it's by your spirit. God, your people came here ready for something, oh God, something from you. Your people came here, God, hungry for you. God, your people came here thirsty for you. God, now we ask you, God, to fill us, Jesus. Fill us, Jesus. Fill us, Jesus. Fill us, Jesus. And shower down, shower down shower down Lord God we're hungry for you God we're thirsty for you and we need you God we need you we need you we need you Jesus we need you we need you we need you Jesus Jesus hallelujah God have your way in this service have your way in this place have your way in the if you're hungry you ought to say lord have your way god we want to see your miracles god we want to see your signs god we want to see your wonders because we know you're able 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 god Move, Lord. Move, Lord. Come on.
now. Move, Lord. Move, Lord. Move, Lord. God, begin to break every stronghold in this place. God, begin to break every heart and heart, oh God. God, begin to break every chain in this place. God, we know you to be the chain breaker. So break, 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 break. Break, 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 break. Break, 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 break. Oh, we need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. And we thank you. God, we will lift you high with everything on the inside of us. God, we will lift you high with everything on the inside of us. God, knowing that you will have your way, knowing that you're going to show up. God, knowing that you're going to move. God, knowing that you're going to show us great and mighty things. God, we know you will show us great and mighty things. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Sweet Spirit, Sweet Spirit, take over this place, take over this place, Sweet Spirit, Sweet Spirit. Take over this place. Take over this place. Sweet spirit, sweet spirit. Sweet spirit. We need you to take over this place. Take over this place. Take over this place. from him today I encourage you to just give him a little more give him a little more give him a little more he said if we ask him and it's according to his will he will give it to us 
So I encourage you to open up your mouth and say, oh, Lord, I need you, I need you, I need you. Lord, I need you, I need you, I need you. God, come here and take over this place. This place, this place, this place. Come on, say, say, take over this place. Take over this place. Take over this place. Take over this place. Take over. Take over this place. Lord, we need ya. Take over this place. Take over this place. Take over this place. Take over this place. Take over this place right now, Lord. Take over this place right now, Lord. Take over this place. I know you're able. Take over this place. I know you're able. Take over this to do and see to me, Lord. Take over this to do and find a need, Lord. I know you're able. Take over this place. I know you're able. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Take over this place. Take over. Take over this place. And have your way. Take over this place. Take over. Take over this place. Take over. Take over this place. I tried it on my own, Lord. Take over this place. But I need you to help me, Lord. Take over. I tried it on my own, Lord. Take over this place. But I need you to rescue me. Take over this place. Take over. Take over this place. Take over. Take over this place. Lord, have your way. 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 Lord, have your way. Lord, we need you. We need you. Lord, we need you. We need you. Lord, we need you. We need you. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Take over this place. Oh, have your take way. Take over this place. Take over, take over. Take over this place. Take over, take over. Take over this place. Lord, we need you. Take over this place. Lord, we need you. Take over this place. To consume us with your fire. Take over this place. To consume us yes. with your spirit. Take over this place. Lord, we need you, yeah. Take over this place. Lord, we need you. Take over this place. Take over, take over. Come on, let's bless the Lord in this place. Let's bless the Lord in this place. Because this is the day that he has made. You ought to bless him a little bit more than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus. Hold on right quick. Hallelujah. I just want to share a few scriptures with you today just to encourage you and just to remind some of you who may be going through some things today. Hallelujah. First Peter 5 and 10 says, In his kindness, God has called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while, he will restore you, he will support you, and he will strengthen you, and he will place you on a firm foundation. Hallelujah. But my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So... And let us not be weary and well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not, and if you don't understand that in other words. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. Let's not get tired of doing what is good. And just at the right time, you will reap a harvest of blessings if you don't give up. Turn to your neighbor and say, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. And talk to yourself. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. 
But as it is written, I has not seen, nor is heard, neither hath entered the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them who love him. Hallelujah. He's also said, for I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Somebody say, I got a hope and a future. God has a plan for me. Talk to your other neighbor and say, God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. I need y'all to be a little bit more confident in who we serve. The God we serve, he has a plan for me. Now this last thing, I encourage you to trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not into your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. So we know that when we trust him with all our heart, we shall automatically know that he'll direct our path. So you shouldn't feel lost. My God already got it figured out. Tell your neighbor, my God already got it figured out. He already got it figured out. I might not understand at this moment, but he already has it figured out. I'm still alive, so that means he still has a plan for me. I'm still breathing, so that means he already got it figured out. Oh, 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 oh. he has a plan for me. Yeah, he has a plan for me. I know he does. He has a plan for me. So begin to take all the lies out of your head. Begin to take all the doubt out of your mind. The fear out of your mind. Things that people spoke over your life. The hate that you receive from other people. The doubt that you receive from other people. God has a plan for you and nobody can't take it away. Nobody can't take away and that is why we thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Turn to your other neighbor and say, you look good. Give them a smile. I think somebody might need a smile. I know some people probably been through some crazy things this week. So they just probably need to see your beautiful smile today. Hallelujah. And while you at it, begin to put your hands together. Today we're going to sing the highest praise, which is hallelujah. I want you to sing that with everything on the inside of you. Hallelujah, yeah, yeah. Come on, put your hands together, y'all. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and hey, be glad hallelujah. in it. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We praise your name. Hallelujah. We live too high and too higher this way. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We praise we live too high this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know y'all know it. Say, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. 
I will rejoice and be glad in this. I will rejoice and be glad so in So we it. say hallelujah. We bless your name. Hallelujah. And we praise, we your, praise name. your name. Hallelujah. We lift you high. We lift you high on this way. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. second y'all what we finna do today is we finna fight the enemy with our praise I know some of y'all are tired of catching all of these blows 
that he's sending your way. I know you're tired, but I'm here to remind you that your praise is your weapon. If you don't know what to do, you ought to clap your hands. You ought to say hallelujah. You ought to do your dance. You ought to shout, scream, whatever it looks like. Whatever it looks like. You ought to declare it. Whatever it looks like. You ought to declare it. You ought to decree it. You ought to stand on it. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over my life. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over my family. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over my situation. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over my health. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over my family. Hallelujah. Over my family. Hallelujah. Over my family. Over my family. Family. The devil's defeated. 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 You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You can have my mind. You can have my heart. You can have my family. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say stronghold we pull down every stronghold we pull it down we pull it down we pull it down we pull it down hallelujah you want to begin to pull it down in the spirit you want to pull it down in the spirit it will not prevail it will no longer have control over me it will no longer take over me because I'm taking back what's mine. 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 Say hallelujah. 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 You're already a winner. You're already victorious. Say hallelujah. 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 Say hallelujah. Some of y'all get it. Say hallelujah. I said some of you get it. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Say hallelujah. 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 Say hallelujah. 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 Every weight hallelujah. is about to fall. Hallelujah. Every weight hallelujah. is about to fall. Hallelujah. Every hindrance hallelujah. is about to fall. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said every weight is about to fall. That thing that's been weighing you down, it's about to come off of you. You got to release it and let it go. I promise you it's about to come off. It's about to come off if you believe. If you believe that the God we say we serve can do it, it's about to come off. It's about to come off. It's about to come off. Every weight, every stronghold, every weight, Every stronghold, every weight, every stronghold, it's about to fall. It's about to fall. Its grip on you is about to release. I need you to believe it. I need you to receive it. Now I want you to let it go. Whether you have to just begin to say hallelujah, whether you have to scream, whether you have to shout, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 The time is now. 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 It's about to fall. It's about to break. It's about to fall. Oh, yeah, the devil. It's about to break. Come out, come out. It's about to fall. It's about to break. It's about to fall. 
It's about to break. It's about to fall. I declare it over your life. It's about to break. It's about to fall. It's about to break. Oh, no, 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 more shahad, yeah, 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 yeah. It's about to fall. Yeah, no, no, more shahad, yeah, 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 yeah. It's about to break. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. It's about to fall. I know you're tired, cuz. I know you're ready to let it go. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about to fall. Come on now. Oh, no, 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 It's about to break. You want to catch on, y'all. You want to receive it. It's about to fall. It's about to fall over. It's about to break. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. It's about to fall. Every lie that's been told to you is about to break. It's 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 about to break. Every stronghold. Every lie. It's about to break. It's about to break. It's about to break. The Lord has plans for you. The Lord has. He has a plan for you. You're still alive because there's more. You're still alive because there's more. 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 He says, I'm still right here. He says, I never went too far away. I'm still right here. I see you. I see your heart. I see all those tears. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, receive his love today. Receive his love today. Receive his love today. Hallelujah. All right, y'all. You ought to worship him today. Come on Hallelujah. Come on you ought to worship him. him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. God, you're worthy. God, you're worthy. Come on, worship him. Come on, worship him. Oh, shout out about sea. God, you're worthy. God, you're worthy. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. King Jesus. King Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, magnify him. Magnify him. Magnify him. We worship you, Lord. Yes, God. Oh, bless him in here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. If you worship him, God will move in his place. 
If you worship him, you'll get your breakthrough. Somebody need a breakthrough in here today. Whatever your situation is, God said, if you worship me, the fire will fall in this room. You experience God like never before. His presence is here. His presence is here. Come on, worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Come on, open up your mouths and worship him. Hallelujah. God, you're glorified. God, you're worthy. You are high and lifted up, King Jesus. You reign, Jesus. You reign, Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Come on, worship him. Don't be lazy. God wants your worship. He wants your worship. I don't know about you, but God is moving right now in the atmosphere. Somebody needs healing right now emotionally. Somebody needs deliverance right now. And God says, if you worship me, the anointing will flow like oil. If you worship me, what you're looking for will be done. If you worship me, come on, worship him. Oh, Jesus, we're waiting on a move from God. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Move by your spirit. Move by your spirit. We need you, Lord. Somebody in the hospital right now can't even say a word in which they could. Somebody's lying in a coma right now. But God said you have the activity of your lips and won't even open up your mouth and worship me. Somebody's child in jail right now. God said if you worship me, the doors will open up before him. God, we worship you. We give you glory, God. We know you're moving in this place, God. God, stir us up. Stir us up. Let the fire burn in you. Let the fire burn in you. Stir us up, God. Stir us up. Shake off the laziness, God. Shake off the struggle. Shake off the habits. Shake off the junk in our lives. Shake it off, God. Somebody needs you, God, in this room. Somebody's marriage under attack. God says, I'm moving by my spirit right now. God, we need you. God, we need you. Mm. Oh, my God. The spirit of the Lord is here. The spirit of the Lord is in here. Doing miracles. He's bringing changes in our lives. The Spirit of the Lord is in this room. Mm. Oh my God, my God, my God. Our brother just said his grandson in the hospital and having some critical issues in his body. That's why I said when you worship God, he sends the anointing right in the hospital room. He knows exactly what to do when the doctors can't figure it out. I want you to stand up all over the room. We stand up, just stand up all the room. I'm about to pray over us right now before we go into our scripture. Because the devil is a liar. The presence of the Lord is in this place. And the consuming fire 
is here to burn up the dross in your life of the stuff that's holding on to you. But God says, I'm here to set you free. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I believe in the power of the word of God that you said, God, that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions, was bruised for our iniquities, that by his stripes we're healed. You said in your word, God, that the Spirit of the Lord goes upon us to preach the gospel, to set the captives free, to mend the broken hearts, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up this child before you, God. That your spirit will go into the hospital room, God. To regulate his organs, God. To be healed from the inside out. Father, we bind the spirit of death. We come against the power of the enemy, God, that's working in his body to kill, stand, and destroy his life, oh God. We believe, God. That healing is flowing right now, God. The doctor's going to be amazed, God. They're going to see a miracle. Even for the children in jail, God. I pray, God, you send forth your messengers. Right where they are, Father God. To preach the gospel. To set them free, God. To change their minds, oh God. To mend the broken heart. And bind their wounds, oh God. To set the captive free. Those who are bound will receive your liberty, God. In this room, God, touch every heart. Every person, Father. You know exactly what's going on in their lives, God. We ask, Father, right now that you move by your spirit, God, in that secret place no one knows about where they're hurting, God. In that place, oh God, where they wake down with sorrow and pain, oh God, their hearts are heavy because of mistakes they made, God. You said that there's now no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus. You're not judging us, God. When we walk after the spirit and not after the flesh, oh God. Open our hearts, oh God. Open our minds to expect you to move, God. To expect the changes, God. To expect, oh God, the miracles, signs, and wonders to follow us as believers, God. And I thank you now, God. That you're God, you should not lie. Nor are you like the son of man, you need repentance. But God, what you speak, you're able to perform it. We ask that you do it now, God, in this season. Perform it, God. That your word that has been tried, tested, and proven sure will manifest. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Come on, praise. That's right. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Come on, praise him. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Mm. I feel the presence of God in this place today. I feel the presence of God in this place. I don't know about you. But every day we're under attack. But we got to keep our focus. This week on the radio show, before going to our scripture, just want to share a brief word. For the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about are you following the guidelines that God said for spiritual boundaries? And I found this to be something sure and true that we all need to be pay attention to and realize if there is no boundary in your life 
anyone will violate your life. You hear that? If there's no boundaries in your life set by God, the enemy will use people to violate your boundary. Pastor been teaching and preaching about breaches for a very long time. Because I found out that when God says a spiritual boundary around his people, the word says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. You know what that is? A fortress. A protective place. The righteous can run into it and find safety. We have to, every day we give in the morning, thank God for his spiritual boundary around our lives, around our children, around the marriages, around our home, around our finances. Thank God you protect everything you've given us. Because we're trusting in you, in your word, to be our protector. And I guarantee when you realize how important that is in your life, just like you said, natural boundaries around your house, fences and, and bushes and all those different things, you get children boundaries that they cannot cross in the house. There are boundaries in different areas of our lives that we set in the natural realm. But the most important boundaries is when I invite God in, allow him to come in and be a shield round about those who what? Fear him. And that's not talking about being terrified, being afraid of God. It's talking about respecting God accepting God, receiving God as your protection. And I guarantee when you do that, the Lord will show up in your home every day, manifest his power, and begin to move by his spirit in you every day of your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Everybody, uh, please stand for the our scripture on this morning. Amen. Come on, somebody get God a hand praise. Is he going to break them strongholds today? It's going to fall, it's going to fall, it's going to fall. Amen. We all dealing with sun, But you know what? We are truly blessed today. There's people over in the Middle East, Ukraine. People are, innocent people are dying. Kids and all. They are blowing up everything. So y'all thank God on this morning. We made it another day, amen? Amen. Read this in concert. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall, not, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and ye shall have them and the reading of the word is blessed. Amen. Oh, did I, did I do one on? Oh, sorry. Um, when you stand praying, <laughs> forgive. If you have ought against any, that your Father, also which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, Forgive you your trespass. And the word is blessed. Thank, thank you, First Lady. Amen. I was wondering if anybody paid attention. <laughs> it's all good. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Minister Joe, for reading the scripture for it this morning. I want you to prepare your hearts for giving. Prepare your hearts for giving at this time. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.
since I lay my burdens down. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Friends don't, friends don't treat me like they used to since I lay my burdens down. Friends don't treat me like they used to since I lay my burden down. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. He has been so good to me. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. I love the Lord, and I won't take it back. He has been so good to me. Say, so good, so good, so good, so good, so good, so good. He has been so very good, so good, so good, so good, so good. He has been so good to me. Glory, glory. Hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Well, everybody, please stand. I'm going to have uh, Pastor Lane pray over the offering today. Eternal and most righteous God, we come before you this morning. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. Oh, Lord, this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah this morning. Fathers, we come before you on the behalf of this offering. We ask, oh, Lord, that you will bless it. We ask that you will sanctify it. We ask, God, that you will allow it, oh, God, to be used for the purposes that it was, it was given for. We pray, God, that the hands that uh, dis distribute to your cause, we pray that you will bless them tenfold. A hundredfold. We pray, God, that you would bless those that had to give this morning. Those that didn't have, Lord, we pray, God, that you would also bless them. We ask, oh God, that you would look upon us today, that you would smile upon us. Hallelujah. As we worship, oh God, as the praises go up, I pray, oh God, that your blessings will come down upon us. And Lord, and that we will say it was good for us to be here. Bless us this morning, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for your prayer, my brother. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, all right. Y'all ready to get radical for the Lord? Come on, let's get radical at this time. Have a, something on your mind you want God to do, and I believe God, He will do it. Amen. Amen. All right, repeat after me Lord, enlarge my territory. Lord, enlarge my territory you believe that today let's get a little louder lord enlarge my territory one more time lord enlarge my territory we got a question to ask you won't god do it won't god do it won't god do it Yes, he will. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I believe he would do it. Amen. We got any announcements today? Okay. Hallelujah.
Amen, everybody. God is good. Oh, that's, that's the announcement. No, I'm just kidding. But he is good, and he's good all the time. God is definitely a life changer, a body healing, a soul saving, mind regulating, loving in spite of and not because of God. And we should be thankful to him every day. Yes, we say. I know people try to argue you and trick you into converting to whatever it is that they believe. When it comes to that, I don't even argue. Hands down. I serve God. The God that I just mentioned, that's the only God I serve. So ain't no need to even mention. You know what the God said. I remember my nephew said, Well, you're not giving everybody else's religion a chance. I said, I don't need to. I don't need to, right? Because God is who he said he is. So um, our announcements. Report card. I know this is the end of the school year. So some people got report cards coming because some people end up school year already ended. And then it's coming up. I don't know when the last day of school is for the um, late starters. Um, sometime in June. But give me your report card so that we can do the year-end tally. Because we're doing it on the third Sunday in June. The third Sunday we will be doing that. So we'll be honoring those who graduated. Um, y'all know it's a, a PlayStation at hand. Y'all y'all know we do it big for our, 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 our um, students. So make sure that y'all get that information to me as soon as possible. Um, not depending on the parents to bring it. Yep, not depending on the grandparents to bring it. If y'all don't bring it, then there's nothing we can do about it. But bring them to me. Even if you have report cards that I haven't gotten, bring them to me so I can do my tally, okay? The Youth Bible Challenge for June, Youth Involved in 2024, is going to be a surprise reward to the young person aged 5 to 18 who can recite the fruits of the Spirit. The fruits of the spirit. There's a song, y'all. It's also in the Bible. Bonus. If you recite them from the scripture, you'll get a bonus. Amen. Amen. The recital will be doing in after doing or after service on June 23rd. That's the last um that's the last Sunday in June. Amen. No. Okay, so yeah, so it's going to be on the third Sunday. I do apologize. So that will be on the, on the third Sunday. As well. <coughs> so um, for June, we have on next Saturday, we're doing corned beef sandwiches. Um, minus the fries. We just hit. Yeah, fries. Friday, June 7th, noon to 3, here at 2333 West Lloyd Street. The meals are $15. Grilled, grilled sandwich includes grilled rye bread, corned beef, Swiss cheese, and brown mustard with a pickle on the side. And you, get, you get chips with that. We're not going to do the fries. Contact um, Vivian Davis for your orders, or you can contact Mother Bryant. If you order two or more, the delivery will be free. So um, this flyer is up. We have flyers in the back if you guys want to share them. And then that following Sunday, we have tacos and nachos. Um, four dollars for the small. Four dollars for the five. We get to work, y'all, do it the station. Amen. God is good. Um, this is for the temple. Let me out my sister. Father's Day breakfast is Sunday. Breakfast. All men are welcome. It's going to be here at the Day Fellowship from 10 to noon on the 15th. That's the Saturday before, before Father's Day, which is the 16th. 
Father's Day best dress gifts on Sunday. So come out styling and profiling with those um, polyester suits, with those um, bright colors. Father's just come out styling on that day. We want to celebrate you guys. Amen. Um, Youth Bible Challenge, like I said, is going to be on the third Sunday of this month. Of, of June, amen. Sisters with the um, testimony, this April. Okay, so for uh, SWAT, we have our meeting for the month of June is on Wednesday, June 19th, and that will be at 12 p.m. And it will be here at Redeemed Faith Fellowship down in the lower level. Um, and the meeting for those who work is on June the 24th at 5 p.m. And that will be at Evangelist Jennifer's house. Um, the address, uh, for those that want to attend, we'll give you the address. And don't forget your monthly dues. That is $10, and they need to be in by the 16th. And we want to see Minister LaShonda over there in the corner, Minister LaShonda. Um, and if you have any further questions, you can see myself or uh, Pastor Deborah. All right, and then I have another announcement. We have a very special event coming up. We have the birthday celebration for our Pastor Terry Edwards. And she is inviting Redeemed Faith Fellowship to come out and join her Saturday, June 8th at 5 p.m. And it will be at Veteran Manor, 3430 West Wisconsin Avenue. The attire will be casual, dressy, and you can RSVP by June 6th. Um, you also can reach out to Jennifer Tolbert for your RSVP, and her number is 676-0338. Or if you want an RSVP here, um, you can see me after church and we can get the RSVPs in. This will be Saturday. I can guarantee you it's going to be some good food and it's going to be a nice service. And we want to just honor those that work along with Redeemed Faith Fellowship. We know she is a ministry to herself, but she has come and joined in with Redeemed Faith Fellowship. And so we want to be a blessing to those that are a blessing to us. So God bless y'all. I just want to add happy um, <coughs> birthday to Sister T. Her birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday. And then to anyone else who has a birthday this month, um, are there any other announcements? I see that there aren't any. Uh, also, yeah, so I'll do it after. Um, women will have control of the service next Sunday. So if you are able, willing to be a part of the service, please um, see me, let me know. Um, and we need someone to like do offering, prayer, scripture, whatever you're able to do, please just see me and let me know. Testimony, if you have a testimony. Um, and then um, the children, he switched the children to the it was the third or the fifth? The, I think. For this month, it's the third. For June? Yeah, I think he switched it to the fifth, but we're going to verify okay. that. Okay, we'll verify So it. he can. He wants to be here, so yeah. I know he wanted to switch that. So, um, okay. But, yeah, so women's next, women have control of the service next Sunday, though, so just letting you all know that. Okay. And so, also, we're getting the boot bags ready. We're, we're getting ready to get the boot bags ready. Y'all know June is not June, but August is, is vastly approaching. We do need supplies, donations. We do need help. Um, uh, Deaconess Davis want to set up a date to have everybody come and do a book bag count. But the supplies are getting ready to go on sale in July. If y'all can donate cases or whatever, um, cash or whatever you want to donate to help with this um, back to school please um, see Dickness Davis. And also food too, like, you know, the corn, the drinks, the chips, all that, because we do um, feed the people when they come as well. And 
Y'all know last year it was it was huge. So each year it keeps getting bigger. So we got to do above and beyond what we did last year. So come out, donate, um, help out, do what you can do. Amen. Are there any visitors, any guests? Please stand. I guess y'all be here more than once. Amen. <laughs> they don't want to stand up. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, we I, just want to. I had invited her. I had met her at this women's, the mayor's wife had this women's uh, event a few weeks ago, and I just met her by talking to her and let her know about the church, and she came today. So praise God for that. Amen. Let's give her a hand. Let's give all our guests and visitors a hand. God is good, and just feel free to celebrate Christ any way you feel free, any way you see fit. Amen. These are your announcements. Please govern yourself accordingly. Let's bless the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. All the glory belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. And God, we just thank you, God, for being Lord over our lives. Hallelujah. Come on, let's bless him one more time. Hallelujah. I know y'all know this song, so I want y'all to sing your hearts out with us. Hallelujah. As we magnify the Lord in this place. All the glory belongs to you, all the glory belongs to you, oh God. And all the glory belongs to you, all the glory belongs to you, oh God. I hear some of y'all singing out there. Hallelujah, come on, help me sing. Say, all the glory, all the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. One more time, let's lift him high and say, All of the glory belongs to you. It belongs to you, oh God. Say it again, say it again, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Now let's lift it up and say, and we say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Yeah. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Come on, lift it up and say, say all the glory. All the glory belongs to you. It belongs. All the glory belongs to you, O oh God. We lift you high. All of the glory and the honor belongs to you. One more time, I want you to lift your voice and say, All the glory belongs to you. It belongs to you, O oh God. All of the glory, all the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Yeah, yeah. And we say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say Say hallelujah. 
レルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤWe pray, we pray. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Say Hallelujah, Hallelujah, say Hallelujah. Hey, say Yahweh. We pray, we pray. Say Yahweh. Say we pray. Say hallelujah, 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 We pray. We pray. Say Yahweh. Yahweh. We pray. We pray. Say Yahweh. Yahweh. Say we pray. We pray. Say Hallelujah. Say Hallelujah. Say Lord, we thank you. You're worthy of the glory. You're worthy of the honor. I'll bless you at all times. I'll bless you at all times. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, I will bless you. I will bless you. I will bless you. I will bless you through the storm, through the rain, through the pain. God, I'll bless you. I give you my, my heart, Lord. I give you my, my life, Lord. You worthy. 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 Come on, bless the Lord in this place. Bless the Lord in this place because He deserves the glory and the honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. say Yahweh, Yahweh, we praise, we praise. Say Yahweh, Yahweh, we praise, we praise. Say Yahweh, Yahweh. Say Yahweh, Yahweh. Say Yahweh, Yahweh. Say Yahweh, Yahweh. We call you Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We call you Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We call you Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. The one who is holy. Say Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Say Yahweh. Be praised. Say hallelujah. 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 I will bless you. Hallelujah. I will honor you. Hallelujah. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are good. You are great. I lift you high. I 
lift you high. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you for the good things and the bad things. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. You're worthy. 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 Say Yahweh. Yahweh. We praise. We praise. Say Yahweh. Yahweh. Say we praise. We praise. No matter what it looks like. Yahweh. God, I'll give you the glory. No matter what it feels like. Yahweh. God, I'll keep trusting you. We God, I'll keep trusting you. Yahweh. Say we praise. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Lift up your voice and say, All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Come on, open your mouth and say, Say, All the glory belongs to you. It belongs to you. Oh God. On my good days and my bad days, God, it still belongs to you. All the glory. All the glory belongs to you. And the honor. All the glory belongs to it belongs you, to you, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the glory. All the glory belongs to you. And the honor. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. One more time. I want y'all to lift it up in this church and say, oh. And the honor All the belongs to you, oh God. No matter what it feels like, no, no matter what it feels like, I still praise you. I still worship you, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. It belongs to you, oh God. Now let's take about five seconds to just bless him for who he is in this place. He deserves it. He deserves it. Come on, let's lift him up, y'all. Let's lift him up. Let's lift him up. Let's lift him up. Raise your praise in this place. Hallelujah. Come on. You can press a little bit more than that. Hallelujah! Come on, let it go. Let it go. Release control. Hallelujah! 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 Jesus! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus! Hallelujah! 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 Come on, let go. Hallelujah! 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 Come on, open up your mouth. Use your hands. Use your hands. Open up your mouth. He deserves the glory, honor, and praise. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. You got to press a little bit more. Press a little bit more. Press a little bit more. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Oh, Jesus. 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 That's it. That's it. Don't stop now. Don't stop now. The Lord that is over your life is here. The Lord that is over your life is here. Roko mo sahad yada my soul. Hallelujah. 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 God, we pour out to you today, Lord. God, we pour out to you today so that you can fill us, Lord. God, we pour out to you so that you can fill us. Fill us up, oh God. Fill us up with your word. Fill us up with your truth. Fill us up with your spirit today, Lord. God, we need you. We need you. We need you, Lord. You ought to press a little bit more. You ought to press for that thing you've been waiting for. You ought to press. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. 
Woo! Ah! Oh! Ha! Ah! Oh! 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 Ha! Ah! Yeah! 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 Oh! Ha! Ah! Woo! Chida no! Ha! Ah! Woo! Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 We call you Jesus. 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 Woo! Yes, Lord. Ha. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good, Lord. You are good, Lord. You are good, Lord. You are good. 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 You are good, Lord. You are good, Lord. You are good, Lord. You are. You are. You are. You are. Woo, Jesus. Oh, my. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Ah, thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. Don't stop there. Come on. Come on. Oh. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Holy One is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's here. He's here. Get what you need, get what you need. Get what you need, get what you need. He's here, yeah, yeah. He's here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now is your time to talk to him. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need him to do for you. Come on. You ain't got to sound fancy or nothing. Talk to him like you're talking to a regular person. Talk to him like you're talking to a regular person. He's here for you. Oh, yeah, nah, 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 yeah. He's here. The Holy One is here. The mighty one is here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The mighty one is here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's here. You got to just grab him. Touch him. Touch the him. Whatever it may be, you ought to grab to him. Grab to his presence. Yeah. He's, here. He's, here. He's, here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's bless the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Awesome worship. Awesome worship. Awesome worship. For the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is definitely liberty. You come in bound, you leave free. That's how powerful God is. That anointing destroys the yoke. Amen, amen again. Amen. I'm asking you to stand for the reading of a scripture this morning. I have a couple of scriptures I'm going to go to, but before I get into the scripture, I just want to let all the ministers know that Pastor gave us a subject for the whole month. It's shouting till your status change. That's our subject for the whole month. So prepare something on that subject because God got something he's going to do in all of our lives when we get a revelation concerning the importance of shouting till your status change. But I'm going to read a couple of scriptures. Psalm 47. I don't think I got my scripture. Psalm 47, verse 1. It says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. So shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Amen. Now go to Jericho. If you follow along your Bibles or phones or tablets go to Jericho chapter I mean Joshua chapter 6 at the book of Jericho <laughs> did anybody know their Bible today the book of Jericho <laughs> amen amen beginning verse 1 Joshua chapter 6 verse 1 says now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. All right? Verse 5, And it came to pass, matter of fact, go to verse 4. It says, and, and, and it says, go back to 3. So ye shall come past the city, all the men of war, go around about the city at once. Thus, shalt thou do this six days and seven days the priest shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of rams horns in seven days in the seventh day you shall compass the city seven times and the priest shall blow with the trumpets verse 5 and it shall come to pass that when you make a long blast with the ram's horn when you shall hear the sound of the trumpet all the people shall shout with a great shout the walls of the city shall fall down flat and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Verse 6, And Joshua the son of Nun, or Nun, called the priests and said unto them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and the seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horn before the Ark of the Lord. All right? Verse 7, And, it shall, and he said unto the people, Pass on and compass the city, and let him that, that is armed pass on before the Ark of the Lord. I'm going to stop right there. You may be seated. I want you to look at somebody and say to them, it's time to shout for victory. I got to come out of this jacket. I'm hot up here. <laughs> Glory to God, I tell you. It's time to shout for victory. You know, I was looking up this passage of Scripture and many other Scriptures throughout the week. And when Pastor asked me to preach today, and he told me the subject that came to my mind about Psalm 47, 1, oh, clap your hands, you know, you people who shout the voice of triumph. The, the book of Joshua, chapter 6, how God gave the people instruction that they are to compass Jericho for seven days, right? But I looked up something. It was really interesting. We probably never pay attention to this. Shouting or crying provides a mean 
to navigate this terrain, allowing us to confront and process the feelings that we might have otherwise remained obscured. We never pay attention to that. Shouting is very important. People don't, don't realize that if I don't sometimes shout, I hold in anger, I hold in resentment, I hold in hatred, I hold in bitterness, because I'm harboring this stuff in the treasure box in my heart. If I always say the secret treasure box, God gave it to me a long time ago because we all have a treasure box within us. He said we are a chosen treasure, right? A royal priesthood, chosen possession in God's eyes, right? So if God says we are his chosen treasure, guess what? It's in a box. A spiritual box inside of you, which is your house, your, your temple, is the place where God placed the treasure in. So he says within you, sometimes we have to shout. I looked up something else which really caught my attention because one thing about shouting says the studies indicate that the physical act of screaming may trigger a release of feel-good chemicals in the body which might help to create a sense of relief and potentially lead to lower stress and anxiety levels. Ain't that something? just from releasing a shout. Throughout the scriptures, God commanded many leaders to lead the army of Israel to victory. Check this out, a ram's horn. We probably never looked that up. Why is a ram's horn so significant? A ram's horn symbolizes God's miracle, his divinity, and his provision and protection. The reason why God chose the ram horn, because a ram is what? A strong animal. So they made a shofar out of a ram's horn. Why? Because it, it brings forth a loud sound. And God says inside of you is a ram horn of the spirit to bring forth and create a loud sound. But many times we get mad at folk in the church get mad at our husbands or our wives, get mad at our significant other, we get mad at the children, and we yell at them, right? Shouting. If you never shout, something wrong with you. Because if I harbor in, my, in myself, when I'm at, I remember one time, had a man in my building, made me upset because he accused me trying to make him be quiet. I came outside, I was preparing for the Bible class, and came outside just to get a little air to get ready to go for the class and I'm all in good spirit all high up in God I mean having a great day and this man is loud I mean real loud every time he talks like he's shouting and, I mean, and so he's outside my window <laughs> so, and I'm like Lord you got to shut him up before I do this class because it's going to be an interruption so I just came outside not for that reason but like I said to get some air I refresh been in the house all day so he says, what you about to do? I'm about to go uh, get ready for my Bible class I do online every week. And, and I, he said, uh, oh, okay. So what you trying to tell me? Shut up. I'm like, where that come from? I said, where that come from? Well, uh, you trying to take away my Fifth Amendment. You can't make me shut up. You can't make me stop talking. You can't do this to me because I have the right to get as loud as I want to and keep on talking as loud as I want to, keep doing what I want to do. I said, I never said any of those things you just said. You said it. See, we have to learn to listen. Man, Pastor, I want to talk about all the time, the ear game. If you hear what you thought you heard, then sometimes you hear an error. So he said everything he wanted to say, assuming I was saying these things, I never said a word. You hear that? That's how the enemy does. The enemy wants to trick you up to make you think that you're out of order when you're in order. Did y'all catch that? <laughs> so as, as he said this right I said well God bless you I pre proceeded to walk away but no the devil has to nag take a knife stick in your back turn the knife pick at you keep talking about you as you walking away and in my mind I'm like Lord Jesus don't let him touch me please don't let him touch me cause it's old if he touched me but I thank God for self discipline through the Spirit. And the Holy Ghost said, keep saying God bless you and keep walking. Right? 
So when I got in the house, I said, ah! <laughs> he just irritated me! Because <laughs> I knew if I had held it in, I would try to go back and start some more trouble. <laughs> but the Holy Ghost said, just release it. Just release it. You got the victory. Ain't that something? Because we don't realize that God already gave you the victory over the enemy. If you focus on what they're doing to you, then they win the victory. And when God began to speak, so when I did the class that night, it was the most profound class. And I was talking about the battles of the mind. <laughs> At all subjects. I said, that was a test to see if I believe what I've been teaching. God would test you. If you say you're studying God's word, God said, okay, I'm going to try you. I'm going to let the enemy come on. Didn't he do Job like that? He said, Lord, you move ahead to protection from around Job. I'll make him curse you to your face. Lord, you move ahead from around Job. I'll make Job turn his back on you and cuss you out. Lord, you take your head from around prophet Abraham and her husband. I'll make them turn away from you. Lord, if you take your head from around Jeanette, I'm going to make, make her turn her back and get mad at you. That's not even our race. He wants to single you out on purpose because he know you already know the word of God, but he want to test you since you're living by the word of God. So many times we quote scriptures till we blew into faith and don't believe nothing we said out of our mouths. When God gave this to me, he said, just like the children of Israel, they were shut up in a place because of Jericho was an enemy. You got to understand it was an enemy. But God already told them over and over and over, if you trust me, I'm going to take you to the promised land. That was his word. He gave them victory after victory after victory, but then sometimes because of rebellion, we do it sometimes today. We get stubborn, get prideful, get rebellious. We throw stones and hide our faces. And God said, Okay, you don't want to obey? Go into captivity. Get in place of bondage. Go ahead. Get there. And when you finally realize you need me, you'll come back to me. We do it all the time. God said, you get to the place where you say you trust in my word and you trust in me, I'm going to show you it doesn't matter how bad you mess up, my grace is still sufficient. So Jericho. It's a place, a wealthy place. And God said, this is an enemy you're going to defeat. But you're not going to have to fight this battle. Ain't that something? They fought many battles. But God said, this particular battle is going to be strategically planted. It's going to give you the wisdom and knowledge to overcome the enemy with a shout. Y'all hear that? So he told them instructions, what they need to follow to the T. How many times you give your children instructions and you tell them when I come home, the house better be clean. It ain't going to happen. And God says, you know what? I give you instructions. But do you follow to the T? Do you dot the I across the T's with my instructions and you be obedient to my instructions? Or... Are you prideful and rebellious and callous in your heart? A callous heart is a hardened heart. It's a stubborn heart. It's a heart that says, okay, God, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not going to do it. We do it all the time. God says, turn off the television and pray and fast. Nope, my program too good right now to stop praying, to start praying, God. I got to watch my program first because my soap opera is good or my TV show that's on, 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 on the CW is good. I got to do this first. I got to watch this movie first, God, before I take the time to hear your voice and pray. We put things before God, which becomes an idol. So God says, Israel, Joshua is going to lead you to the promised land. And he says, I'm going to have him take the priest with the ram horns, take the Ark of the Covenant, I'm going to lead the praisers, I'm going to have you all do this one thing, march around the wall seven times for seven days. 
That's a long time to be marching around a wall. I don't know about you, but I think I would have gave up midstream and said, okay, God, I heard you, forget it. <laughs> but they had to obey God to get to the next phase of life. Because in order to get to the promised land, God told them there are going to be some enemies you have to defeat in order to get the full measure of the promise. So they followed God's order, his instruction. They did what God said, and they had to be quiet in the process. You hear what I just said? Sometimes you got to be quiet. God says march. He didn't say talk. He didn't say gossip and talk to one another, have a conversation among your peers. He didn't say none of that. He said march around the wall for seven days with the, with the ram horn and the ark of the covenant, and you do all this I instructed to. But the most significant thing was the seventh day. When God says, I want you to take some vessels with some lamps, because he gave them vessels too, vessels with the um, candles in it. He says, I want you to break these vessels on the wall. He said, when you break these vessels on the wall, after marching around the seventh day, I want you all to get in unison so the choir has to come together in one accord. So it was like a choir marching around the wall now. So everybody had to come in one accord and had to lift up a loud shout. Guess what? The victory's already won. And when they obeyed God and shouted, what did God say? He gave them instruction. When you follow what I told you to do, the wall is going to fall flat. He didn't say it's going to crumble. It's going to break into pieces. So the wall going to fall flat. How many walls we built up in our lives that God trying to bring down? How many times we heard God saying, stop doing certain things in your life you know it's not on my will, but we get stubborn and keep doing it anyway because I'm still covered by my wall. But God says when you shout, the wall is going to fall flat. There are many scriptures that indicate about shouting. And one thing about God, God always gave instructions to his people concerning how to walk in obedience and shout with a voice of triumph. That triumph is the word that means to overcome in victory. And you have to get to the place yourself and shout before the Lord. Listen to this. Zephaniah 3, chapter 14, verse 14 and 15. It says, Sing, O daughters of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughters of Jerusalem. We got to get to the place we don't mind saying, okay, God, I'm ready to release. How many of you have to release today? What's, what's in you that got you where well, you need to release a shout? We're going to do this today because God says that we shout. We put the enemy to a flight. He has to leave you alone. He has to leave your marriage alone. Got to leave your children alone. Leave your finances alone. Leave your health alone. He got to stop plaguing you when you shout unto God with the voice of triumph, knowing that I have the victory. I'm already an overcomer because Jesus Christ, my Lord, already conquered the powers of the enemy. And when I shout unto God, I got to know that I know that I know that I am an overcomer. I'm an overachiever. I'm an excellent in the eyes of God. I'm perfecting in praise because he put his spirit in me to worship. Glory to God. Mm, mm, mm. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmness with his power. We got to praise God like you lost your mind sometimes. You got to get to the place in yourself. I don't care who's looking at me. I don't care how bad y'all might look ugly. I don't care how bad you talk about me. I'm still going to keep on praising God because I've been through so many things in my life and I have a reason to praise him. I almost died and God saved my life. My child got locked up. God brought him out. My son driving drunk and got a ticket and got his license suspended and God still turned things around in his favor and caused him to be blessed and highly favored of God. I got to tell you, when you show Shout unto God. Your situation, it changes your status. Your status may look like you're down on your knees. Ain't going to never rise again. But when I praise God, the spirit of God begins to move in a mighty supernatural way in my life. And the walls got to come down because I'm standing on the promise of God. I don't care where I've been. I don't care how 
how bad I messed up. I don't care what folks say about me because God ain't looking at that junk. He's looking at the blood of Jesus. It's the blood that never loses power. It's the blood that overcame the power of the enemy. It's the blood of Jesus brought my redemption. It's the blood that said, love lifted me. When I was sinking, far from the peace for sure, sinking deep, never to rise no more, I heard a voice that called me in the pillows of the waters. I heard a sound, a frequency that caught my attention to look to the hills which comes my hymn. My help, it come from the Lord. My strength is in the God of Jacob. My God always prevail. My God always overcome. I don't care what it looks like. Your situation may be dark. But I come to tell you, if you open up your mouth and shout unto God, tell God, thank you for the breath of life. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you, my children not dead. Thank you, my marriage is healed. Thank you, my relationship is blessed. Thank you that I'm overcoming victory. Thank you, I'm blessed and highly favored. When you know that you know, just as they blew the ram horn, made a loud sound, it reached the frequency of heaven. Are you making a sound today that's reaching the frequency of heaven? That when you hear God speaking by his word, something on the inside begins to germinate like a generator. It caused so much power to flow through you that everywhere you go, you got to tell somebody that God is good to me. You got to tell somebody that God saved my soul when I was a sinner. You got to tell somebody I know the miracle worker. I know a promise keeper. I know a light in darkness. You got to tell somebody your situation may look dark right now. But I found out if I be lifted up, if I be lifted up, I'll draw men unto me. That's what Jesus said. If I be lifted up above depression, if I be lifted up above anxiety, if I be lifted up above your pain and sorrow, if I be lifted up, your status got to change. Because now I know I have a robe of righteousness. Now I know I have a crown of glory. Now I know I got the king of glory on my side. I got to walk like I've been lifted up. I got to stand firm-footed and rooted in Christ Jesus, never to be moved. We got to stop letting the devil steal our joy because I found out in the midst of shouting, it releases a frequency that only God can understand. That's why when people pray in the spirit and they go in deep in the spirit of God praying in tongues, God begins to germinate the atmosphere around them to release the spirit of praise in their house that every time the enemy think he got in, God set an ambush against the enemy in your life to show you the greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You got the greater one who's sitting on the throne inside of your heart. You got to know with confidence, with boldness, that no matter what they try to do to me, you got some naysayers and haters. You got some backbiters and backstabbers. I don't care what you say and do about me. 
because I got a Savior who defeated all my foes. And it says he led the captive captive. He not only that, you know what he did? He went down to the bowels of hell, took the keys from the enemy. So you thought you won over the cross. But I come to tell you today that the cross couldn't hold me down. The grave can't hold me down. But on the third day, the third day, the third day, there was a rumbling in the ground. On the third day, the stone was moved away. And guess what? He got up. He got up. He got up. He said, with all power in his hand, he got up. You know why? So you can get up. So you can get up. He got up so we can get up and receive his love. All because he paid the debt that we couldn't pay ourselves. He loved us so much. He said, you know what? I saw you in your mess. I saw you under the bridge. I saw you in the gutters. I saw you in that place where you felt it was hopeless. No hope to rise up again. But I'll come to tell you today, he got up with all power, the resurrection power to quicken, to make alive you and me today that we can receive his life and his loving kindness. So I have loved you with an everlasting love. And by my loving kindness, I drew you to myself all because of grace. Why don't you stand over the room? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you, Lord God. We praise your name. Hallelujah. I want everybody, just take a deep breath. I want you to do one thing. I want you to shout all over this room like you got the victory. I don't care what you're going through. God don't care about that. He cares about when you praise him. Because when you praise him, the status of your situation, it has to change. The chains have to be broken. Shackles have to be loose. When you praise God, the atmosphere changes all around you. I want you to take a deep breath over this room. I want you to do, and I'm going to count the three on the third number. I want you to shout like you lost your mind. It's going to help you, trust me. Watch, watch what happens. Watch what happens when you shout to God. One. Two, three, come on, let's shout. Hallelujah. God, we glorify you. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord God. Praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Woo. Glory to God. You should feel good right now. You should feel good right now just releasing it. Just releasing every care, every concern through your shout. Just release it. Release it. Whatever bothers you right now, release it. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Yes, God. Let it rain. Yes, God. Let it rain. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. So heaven, let it rain. Let it 
break. Open, open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Yes, God. Yes, God. Open the floodgates of heaven and let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven and let it rain. Let it rain. Open the blood. Yes, God. Heaven. Let, Let it, it rain. rain. Let it rain. Open the flood gates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Yes, yes, God. Yes, God. Lord, I thank you for this word, O oh God, that was spoken in this place. I pray, O oh God, right now, the words of the from deaf ears. But we as your church have ears to hear what the Spirit says to us, God, to provoke us, to challenge us, to change, to become better stewards of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Again. I want to open the door to the church at this time. Anyone here that doesn't have a church home? You might, might want to join this church. The doors is open at this time. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Redeem. Faith is raining, it's raining, shower down, Lord, it's raining, it's raining, oh, it's raining, open the floodgates of heaven, open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Yes, God. Let it rain. Amen. Amen. Why don't you stand out of the room? As we do each week, we all pray in unison a prayer of repentance. I believe God is going to change your status starting today, starting at this moment. Whatever it is that's been plaguing you, been bothering you, been ailing you, was hurting you, God says today your status is changing. Won't you repeat after me all over the room, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Actually, Lord God, come into my heart. Forgive me for my sins, knowing and unknown sins, and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. And I thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You want to close this out? You want to close this out today?
Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today. We thank you for this service, God. We thank you for all that was said and all that was done. And Father, we pray right now that you would pour back into the man of God all that he poured out on today, God. Refresh him, Lord, in the spirit, Father. We thank you, Lord, that not one word will fall to the ground. We thank you, Lord, that as we shout, you would release, God. As we shout, you would pour out, God. As as we shout, you would open up the windows of heaven. As we shout, you would heal and deliver. As we shout, you would provide and make a way, God. We thank you, Lord, for the shout. I thank you for the shouting. I thank you for the shouting. Thank you for the shout. Hallelujah. We will not be silent anymore. Father, we thank you that when we see the enemy coming, we will release a shout of victory, a shout for breakthrough, a shout in the name of Jesus. As we leave this place, God, but never your presence, go with us, God, every family represented in this room. We speak healing deliverance miracles signs and wonders this week shall be a week like we've never seen it before god blow our minds do something we've never seen god so we can praise you like we've never praised you before god lord send your angels to go with us cover our vehicles our homes our marriages our children our family our finances god we put everything in your hand we lay it all at your feet and we thank you now in jesus name amen